Hello everybody, my name is Sam of Sam's TV's Corner, and today we will be <laughs> reviewing um, Ruby's Ruby Red, Loki's Wolves, Red Moon at Sharpsburg, and Pegasus, Flame of Olympus. So, whoa, please behave. Great. Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get ready. Ruby Red by, Kirst by Kirsten Gear. Time travel. It runs in the genes for Gwen. Luckily, it, it skipped her. Right? Nope. So, not only is she unprepared, she's now traveling through time with no idea how or why. Ow. Now she's been tossed into a world of secrets and lies and a fate that her whole family had intended to go to her cousin. A favorite of mine, the storytelling is rich, well-defined, and leaves you with questions at every turn. The love story is an instant, but develops slowly but surely, and emotions are captured perfectly. If you guys want to read this, I recommend, as well as the other books in the series, which I don't even remember what the heck they were. They were somewhere. Sapphire blue and emerald green, so make sure you check those out. Loki's Wolves. Ragnarok is starting, and Thor's descendant is supposed to stop it. One problem. Matt Thorson is the descendant, and he can hardly control the abilities that come with it. And now he has to travel, find the other descendants of the Norse gods, as, I mean, he has to find the shield and hammer, find the other descendants of the Norse gods, which he already has two of them already, which happen to be Loki's descendants, Fen and Lori, cousins. It's a shame the three of them don't get along that well. It's a different take on the end of the world, with elements that make you feel as though it's done by Rick Weirden, it's, but it's not. And it's, it's that good. <laughs> the storytelling and illustrations are wonderful, and it sets up conflict perfectly. Um, there are more books in this series, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so, make sure you check out it. Check it out if you guys want to read the whole series. It's the Blackwell Pages. Next, instead of our fantasy time travel stuff, we have a historical fiction called Red Moon at Sharpsburg. The Civil War has begun, and India Moody's world is changing, starting with the school, school, schools closing, families fleeing, and young men are preparing for war. The tide changes when the Union begins to advance toward her home, and her ailing father has to return to the war front. India now has a choice. She could stay at home worrying or go after him. And she makes a brave choice. She goes after him and she finds herself plunged into one of the war's most tragic and terrifying events, the Battle of Sharpsburg. Descriptive, powerful, and lesson teaching it tells of the struggles and horrors of war on a personal level and gives you a strong, powerful female lead in a mind of her own in a world falling apart around her while showing the confederate side of the war for the pretty much the entirety of the book, which makes this a worthwhile read. Um, unlike the rest of the books in today's video, that is the only one that doesn't have a series to it. And finally, Pegasus, Flame of Olympus. This has a lot of books to it. Emily is a normal girl. Well, as normal as you can be and with a dead mom and a police officer father who's gone most of the time. And on the night her life changes, Pegasus, the Pegasus, crashed onto her roof in the middle of a great storm. Her kind heart leads her to a black eye and needing to grab 
most of the medical supplies for rose thorn scratches, said black eye, and a very, very wounded creature of mythology. She has no idea how to help, so she turns to the help of the Roman mythology geek and quiet boy, Joel, to help. He does, and a friendship blossoms, but the peace won't last. The Roman gods are dying, along with the Olympian flames, so alongside with the temperamental goddess Diana and the thief Palin, the two must return Pegasus and find the flame, a daughter of Vestia with the flame in her heart. Powerful, heart-pounding, and easy to read, it doesn't slam you with action after action, but eases into the story, while still keeping tabs on Emily and Palin. Yet another take on the end of the world, Pegasus shows that bonds, true bonds, once made, don't break. And like I said, as it has a lot of books, the storyline makes sense that the storyline would take time to develop, because, well, you'll have to read the Pegasus series to find out. And those are our four books, Ruby Red, Loki's Wolves, Red Moon at Sharpsburg, and Pegasus at the Flame of Olympus. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, not really much news that I can think of, so... Make sure you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you guys back here again sometime soon. Be safe. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Well, I mean, get fresh air when you need, but for the most part, stay indoors. And, yeah. Have a wonderful time. Bye, guys.